Hello out there and welcome to Road to ACP. The image before you must have given you some insight that what we are going to deal today. It is about a web application functionality that we use in our day to day life that is called Remember Me. And I will show you that how you can abuse this functionality if that has been not properly sanitized by the developer. Actually while pen testing an application, I came across this kind of functionality in one of the applications I can't name it. But while dealing the application, I came to know that application developer has not, you know, used the right kind of method to secure the functionality. So I was able to, uh, you know, do a account takeover there. Actually, this kind of functionality definitely employs some kind of, you know, uh, local storage system or the cookie system or session system to identify the user even after the user has closed down their closed down their browser. So it will be fun to you know demonstrate the same uh, before you. Uh, see, I don't have the source code for the application that which I have tested in pen test. So what I decided to you know code the application in my way and try to showcase the thing and scenario before you, uh, which will help you to understand that uh, what can be done in this kind of scenario and what kind of steps that you should take, okay, and what kind of thing that you should look. Okay, so just stay tuned and I'll in some time I'll just fire my Bob and the you know local host application which will showcase the thing before you. So uh, it will be fun to begin with. So this is the application page before you and it is not fancy. Uh, you may include some kind of CSS. I'm going to put up this application code in my GitHub repo. You may download it and fancy it according to your own whims and fancy. Uh, so I, what I have done that I have uh, kept a guest login for this particular user. So if I use guest guest and uh, if I just try to you know use any random password, then the application is not going to give you any kind of output to me. So to what I tried the normal username password that is guest guest admin admin this kind of thing. So while I just used it and I just logged in, then the application presented me a guest guest page before me. And which was not enough increasing me as a pen tester that I was not finding any juicy information out there. So what I did, I just used the guest guest and at the same time I used the remember me uh, functionalities in that applications. Uh, it is not that uh, it clicked to my mind all of a sudden. Obviously I took time to figure out that what is there. And after using that uh, functionality, it was taking me to this kind of page where I can see some certain other links. Okay, I'll not say what kind of links but I'm just trying to mimic that. Okay, so after clicking that, uh, you know, inside link, it is uh, okay. Thank you, welcome back, user. Uh, you are at here. This kind of, uh, you know, informational uh, things for me. In a guest user with a remember me functionality is on. So uh, I just straight away went into the you know uh, Bob Suit uh, uh, proxy history, and I saw I just found that. Uh, what kind of cookies were there so i found that there are three cookies one of the cookies you can see that is csrf cookie spoof me that was of the part of my previous lab of csrf bypass if you have not seen i'll recommend you go and check that out check that video as well i'll i hope that will that will give you also a immense uh, knowledge about csrf bypasses and there are two more cookies are there there is persistent user and at the same time there is php session id the php session id is more or less like a default kind of thing for exam okay because there is a php based applications and there is a persistent user so what i did that i just found this uh, hashing a little bit of md5 so i just went to some um, normal md5 uh, hashing site md5 decrypt and uh, i tried to break it and uh, you know uh, it was very funny in the real applications also they are using a combination of uh, two three two three things at the same time and while i just uh, did the unhashing part using an online site uh, you may see that i'll get uh, the token uh, the persistent user token was so guessable that uh, i can you know uh, it was like giving me a clue that what kind of thing that has been implemented at the back uh, so I just tried some of the MD5, uh, you know, decrypting online tool and see uh, this is user number one or one. Okay. So I think, so what I thought that if it is decrypting to uh, one, so I think there could be a possibility of an, uh, you know, hash collision. So what I did, I just created a uh, very good word list using, you know, there are so, so many tools out there. 
I took the username, I took the passwords, I took the combinations, and I just you know just brute force that uh, persistent user token. Okay, and uh, uh, first I try to see that what kind of you know using sequence or what kind of randomness in the persistent uh, user. But uh, then later I thought that it is uh, it will just uh, you know long um, you know length uh, it will just add length to my video. Uh, nothing going to add anything in terms of knowledge. So I just skipped it part. Uh, I'll show the use of sequencer in in some other video of mine. But right now I think uh, this video is not apt for this. So I just try to fiddle with the, the sequencer tab with this particular vulnerabilities. But then I just switch it uh, directly into the uh, intruder tab and try to you know brute force that uh, you know user user account token, the persistent user token. So uh, since I found that MD5 token was decrypting to one. So I just take some small number one to nine and try to decrypt it. And while while doing so, you can see that I found uh, you know there are different kind of messages for each, each uh, and every successful and valid uh, guessing of token. Uh, you can see uh, that some of the lengths were different. So I just went to the uh, went and see there is an word amazing. So I think the application is producing some different results apart from the regular one. So I just went to see what kind of persistent token was used there. And uh, see this is the persistent token. So I just took this process. Oh, sorry, I was I'm taking this. I'm copying the PHP session ID. I know there will be some error while decrypting it. But I couldn't figure out it in the first uh, half of the video. So I just try to uh, decrypt uh, the PHP session ID time and again. And it was my woes and uh, that it was always uh, telling me that uh, no, it is not of uh, proper hashing algorithm. But I couldn't figure it out that I was wrong, uh, copying the wrong token. Instead of uh, copying the user token, uh, persistent user token, I was copying the PHP session ID token. And that is obviously not in uh, MD5. Uh, so uh, then I just move on to check that what are the other tokens is there and see in this case I was uh, rightly selecting uh, the persistent user token and uh, since this persistent user token was the same from which I was actually logged in uh, so uh, see I'm just putting the same in my uh, github uh, sorry in my uh, online hashing and it is uh, decrypting me to same one again I just went and try to uh, you know decrypt and again i was just uh, selected the wrong thing so sorry uh, for for this fiasco and uh, for go from my side uh, extremely uh, i extend my extreme uh, you know it is an extremely embarrassing embarrassing thing for me that i didn't see the right token value and uh, instead of uh, correcting my own thing i was just uh, finding that okay i think there is some kind of error in my, uh, you know, this particular MD5 hashing chat is not properly up and configured. So I just try and checked in different. Uh, then finally, I realized, okay, so the more or less part is that that I want to speak about that whenever you come across this kind of thing, uh, you should always, you know, uh, keep a very detailed eye on the kind of, uh, you know, uh, cookies or the session or whatever thing that you are finding in the uh, request in the response pages and try to fiddle with them and I'll I'm very much pretty sure that if you just uh, keep your eyes open you will definitely able to crack most of the applications but you have to invest time and that is only the key key point to you know get success in uh, you know uh, breaking into an applications and uh, yes development part is very much important because the more you will develop the better you get the grasp that what kind of uh, uh, thing that a developer can leave while developing an application a monkey testing can never help it may help in one and two places if you use some kind of scanner that also going to help you in one one or two places but that is not the foolproof way to become a uh, cyber security pen tester and expert expert pen tester for expert for to becoming an expert you have to invest time and if you invest time you'll definitely you have to call fail you have to accept the failures as well so but that failures also give, going to give you some kind of relation so uh, to all my big friends, uh, never get disheartened if you're not finding any bugs or if you're not find, uh, try, uh, not getting any vulnerabilities because it is just because that your approach to that application is not in a right way or you have to think differently, okay? And how could you think differently? You have to research a lot. You have to, you should know that how to develop things. And if you know how to develop things, then you can easily understand that what kind of thing that could be left over and how to break into those things. So uh, that's all for this video. 
I hope that you are liking my video and I extend all my warm regards to everyone who is uh, uh, to all my subscriber. I'll request you to keep sharing your love and I'll be coming with this kind of interesting video in future also. And at the same time, please share my video to the friends of your fraternity, the cyber security fraternity. They are also going to get benefit out of it. If not, then they can at least suggest me that what kind of uh, topic that they want to see. Uh, and what kind of thing that I should bring in my channel so that they can also get benefit. Uh, cyber security is not an easy domain. I must say that you have to invest time. That is the final word. So thank you for your time and have a great time. Bye from Road to ASP.